Good morning guys. This is what I'm wearing today. It's pretty casual. I'm wearing this top from YesStyle. It's really cute. It's actually a tank top, but today's pretty chilly, so I wear this cardigan and then these pants. And these pants have like marks on it because they're actually like my work jeans. I always get like nail polish on them, so it turned dirty. I don't think people will notice. So that's what I'm wearing today. And I'm taking the bus today. I have to head out before the bus comes. Is it raining outside? It was raining like this whole week. Hopefully today it doesn't rain. So for this part of the video, which is the process of me doing the nails, I just wanted to do a little voiceover because, I don't know, I feel like I haven't done a voiceover in so long. So first, I'm just prepping the nails. I'm applying dehydrator and then I'm applying primer or the bonder. And this is what helps everything stick on to the nails. And this client just had a removal and she's getting another set. And then I'm applying my G Jelly base. I feel like when some people apply Gel X, they tell me that they don't apply base. But I just do it this way and it works the best for me. I'm scared to try any other ways because this one just works the best in my opinion and my nails, my Gelex nails last a month or even longer, some people say and so I really like the way that I do it right now and then I use the Apray Gelex tips um, some people tell me that the Amazon brand works better for them and I used to think so as well but now that I'm used to this brand and they have all different shapes and sizes so I really like this brand the best and I feel like since I did so much gel X I'm so used to it now and it's so easy for me so I was wondering if I should start like little mini classes or yeah they're called classes right where I just teach what I use and I wanted to include all of my knowledge in those classes like social media aspect or like marketing aspect or like the business aspect if that makes sense so i'm thinking about doing that i don't know if anyone will be interested but i think that would be really cute and a lot of people actually asked me before so i think that'd be a good idea and i'm thinking about starting that in the winter maybe or like late fall also i do not recommend cutting your files in half but i just do it because i feel like it's such a waste of a file especially because we throw it out after each use um so even though it's a little uncomfortable to use i just cut it in half and use it like that and then i'm applying the f gel base um this is a very thin base so i like applying it after the gel x application and i feel like it does help the nail polish adhere to the Gelex tips because I know sometimes um, it's never happened to me before but I've heard that sometimes the polish itself peels off of the Gelex tips which I didn't know it was even possible because it's never happened to me before but that happens and I feel like the base really helps with it also i want to talk about the f gel colors it was my first ever collection that i ever started with and i love it so much this is the f gel in black i think it's like number 52 or something and just one coat covers it fully like i've never seen any other nail polishes that cover it so 
well like this and usually with black or white or any pigmented nail polishes when you put it in the lamp and then you take it out after a little bit it starts like getting wrinkly i don't know if you guys ever have experienced that before but with this one it doesn't happen as much obviously if you put it in for like three seconds and take it out it will wrinkle but i never really experienced that much with this polish the reason why i'm just blending this blush or aura out with a brush is because i wanted that milky effect i could have easily used an airbrush for it but i took the time and kind of like blended it out with the brush and yeah here's me doing the designs and this was a pretty simple set so it didn't take that long but she actually matched with her boyfriend her boyfriend was getting his nails done right next to us and it was really cute because they were like matching they had like the same inspo photos and i thought it was really cute but yeah now i'm applying top coat and i used a crazy top standard for the most part of top coating and i feel like this just gets all the charms in place and the rhinestones they never fall off with this so i love this top coat so much so yeah that is it i feel like i talk so much this is the end <laughs> I just got home and now I'm gonna head over to my friend's place because tomorrow's my day off and I can stay out a little bit but we're just gonna eat dinner and I'm dressed very comfortably yeah I'm so hungry and I can't wait to eat I'm back home. I kind of felt really tired, so I came home. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!